Good Monday morning, GLADS. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for March continue this Wednesday when the reps from the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design visit. Lamar Community College rescheduled their visit for Wednesday, March 21st. We expect more visits this month, so stay tuned. But mark your calendars for this first April visit with the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota who want to chat with you on Thursday, April 12th. Speaking of April visits, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Students enrolled in AP classes. The window to order and pay for your AP exams is now open. Pick up your order form contract from your AP teacher and be sure to have your teacher initial your form. All payments are due to the business office by March 16th. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held this Saturday, March 10th from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. The conference is free and is open to all students in grades 6 through 12 and seniors. This is a great scholarship opportunity. Get your application in the Counseling Center, the Attendance Office, or online at the link on the Counseling Center webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. Hey seniors, we know you are quickly gathering your senior photos for Kiri Carmody. Please be sure you get those to her soon so she can put them in the yearbook before the deadline. Be sure you are sending photos of seniors only. And finally for seniors, the Counseling Center would like to extend appropriate recognition for Senior Awards Night in May, so please bring in all your college acceptance letters, scholarships, and grant award letters, including military scholarships and awards, as you receive them, even if you do not plan to accept them. Contact Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more details. And now, let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Monday, everybody. Today, there's a menu change, and we're going to have a chicken soft taco. Sorry, Miss Ship isn't here to run by on the buggy. And then... Tomorrow, Tuesday, we're gonna have a corn dog. Hope to see you, have a great one. And it's school breakfast week. Come and see us, there's lots of prizes. More to follow, bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. The Pennies for Puppies campaign has been extended. In fact, it kicks off today and Student Cabinet is asking for donations of gently used towels and blankets, dog and cat toys, and of course, cash money is always welcomed. Donations will be collected in the advisory classes and the advisory class that brings in the most donations will earn a pizza party. The campaign will run until Friday, March 16th. FCCLA is meeting today during lunch in room 163 with Mrs. Tucci. If you cannot make it, please check in with her for more details and information you will miss. We will be back in a bit with some club news and fundraiser information, but first, here's Moose Santos with our sports update. Good Monday morning, GLADS. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, it's Powder Puff time and the student cabinet is getting teams ready for this year's Powder Puff game. Starting next week on Monday, March 12th, if you would like to participate, they need players, cheerleaders, and coaches. See Ms. Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slips. Permission slips are due by March 23rd. Spring sports practices started last week and we are expecting some strong performances from our team this year. The baseball team Flapjack Fundraiser date has been changed to this coming Sunday, March 11th, at Applebee's on Highway 8587. Remember, $10 will get you some mouth-watering flapjacks served by your favorite WHS ball player. Buy your tickets today from any baseball player or stop by the front office. NJROTC Cadets, remember the information for the Peterson Air Force Base Gate and your money is due today. Be sure to have that in to Major Davis or Master Chief Preston. Student Senate is looking for some strong warriors for their warrior games against Fountain Fork Carson. If you would like to sign up, please see Miss Mountain in room 103. Let's keep our winning streak going. In basketball news, both our girls and boys basketball teams took their games on the road to the grade 8 playoff games this weekend. Our Lady Glads managed to take down the number 10 Golden Demons to make it to the final four. Way to go, ladies. Their next game will be on March 8th. Our men's team traveled to Monument on Saturday night to wrangle the Rangers, and despite some scrappy plays, our Glads did not advance to the next round. Thank you to the Gladiator basketball team for a great season. You brought us some great action and lots of memories. Thanks also to Coach Munoz and congratulations on your retirement. That's it for our Gladiator sports update. Good luck to our athletes in their practices and games. I'm Moose Santos, now back to you, John and Maddie. Thanks Moose. Several departments are joining forces for our first stream night ever. 
STREAM stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Engineering, Art, and Math. If you made it, we're going to show it. Join us on March 13th and check out robotics and computer programming projects, engineering feats, apes upcycled projects, stargazing, student art, a book fair, and more. Win prizes in the scavenger hunt. Come see your friends' projects at 6.30 and stay to vote for your favorites, too. If you signed up to donate blood, remember to return your permission slip by this Thursday, March 8th, to Miss Melton in room 103. If you do not return your consent forms, your donation slot will be given to another student. Sign-ups are closed for now. Ladies attending the military ball and early planners for prom. Schedule your appointment to check out the dresses in Becca's closet now with Mrs. HK in the library or Mrs. Molina in room 111. Remember, the ball is on March 9th and prom is scheduled for April 21st. The WHS Theater Department Bake Sale is this week in the Science Hall to support their production of The Adams Family. All baked goods will be under $2. Come buy some yummy snacks. And speaking of the theater department, their production of The Addams Family, the musical, will be this Thursday night through March 10th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see all your favorites, Gomez, Marticia, and Wednesday. Sing and dance their way across the stage and into your hearts. And finally, the SPED department would like to invite everyone to come support their Spread the Word to End the Word campaign this Wednesday, March 7th in the small gym. So the campaign started in February of 2009, so this year on March 7th we are going to have a pledge with free bracelets and the students can sign their names to pledge not to use the R word and we're going to be having that in the small gym during lunchtime. So everybody should come and support our kids. Uh, my name is Devin Metters and I'm the life skills teacher. My name is Sierra Hines and I'm the life skills teacher as well. We really hope to see people stop using the word retarded because it is extremely offensive to our kids. You know, and just throughout the day, when, if somebody does say it, maybe be a good friend and say, hey, you know, that word is inappropriate or things like that. So it doesn't hurt our population of students. It's just basically to spread awareness that yes. people are listening and it's yeah very offensive. Yep, and to pledge not to use the word retarded. Stop by during lunch to sign the banner to pledge to end using the R word and support the Special Olympics. That's all our news today. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week. Yeah.